Hallo Leute. Ja, entgegen dem, weil ich erst gedacht habe, dass mein Auto ja jetzt doch gemacht bin ich froh drüber, dass es noch geht, weil du findest auch kein Auto, jedenfalls nicht so, wie ich es haben wollte. Da ich ja jetzt nie groß rumfahren kann oder reisen kann, reise ich halt ein bisschen durch den Wilden Westen. Ich habe letztens mit meiner Grafikkarte ein bisschen rum experimentiert und nochmal ein paar andere Treiber versucht. Und jetzt hat es geklappt, jetzt kann ich mein Red Dead Redemption 2, weil ich schon vor längerer Zeit mal installiert hatte, endlich mal spielen. So, willkommen zum Gameplay mit Conny. So, heute mal die Rubrik Spiel mit Conny. <lacht> nee. Hab, hab jetzt Red Hot Redemption 2. Das habe ich seit langer Zeit schon installiert. Aber es lief anfänglich nie. Und jetzt hatte ich mal Zeit und Lust mich später mit den Treibern zu beschäftigen und andere Treiber auf den Rechner zu laden. Und ja, jetzt läuft. Beide Zeiten sind ja hier so oder so von Nöten. Und die sind hier ganz gut mit ein paar auf alt getrimmten Fotografien von verschiedenen Spiellandschaften gemacht. Und ich bin schon mal tierisch begeistert von der Grafik, wie gut die gemacht ist und so. neigte sich das Zeitalter der Gesetzlosen und Revolverhelden seinem Ende zu. Amerika wurde ein Land der Gesetze. Selbst der Westen war zum Großteil gezähmt. Ein paar Banden trieben sich noch herum, doch sie wurden gejagt und zur Strecke gebracht. Abigail says he's dying, Dutch. We'll have to stop someplace. Okay. Arthur's out looking. I sent him up ahead. Uh. If we don't stop soon, we'll all be dying. This weather, it's May. I'm just hoping the law got as lost as we did. There. Arthur! Any luck? I found a place where we can get some shelter. Let Davy rest while he, you know, an old man in town, Ben, it ain't far. Come on, come on! Yeah. Bring him in here! 
Miss Gaskell, get that fire lit quick. Miss Jones, bring in whatever blankets we have. Mr. Pearson, see what we've got in terms of food. Ja, wir haben ja kein Geld, nichts zu essen. Und die Supermärkte haben auch schon Geld. What are we gonna do? We need supplies. Well, first of all, you're gonna stay here, and you were gonna get yourself warm. And I sent John and Mike scouting out ahead. Arthur and I, we're gonna ride out, see if we can find one of them. Miss, just for a short bit. And I don't see what other choice we have. Listen, listen to me, all of you, for a moment. Now we've had. Well, a bad couple of days. I loved Davy, Jenny, Sean, Mac. They may be okay. We don't know. But we lost some folks. Now, if I could throw myself in the ground in their stead, I'd do it. Gladly. But we are going to ride out and we are going to find some food. Everybody, we're safe now. There ain't nobody following us through a storm like this one. And by the time they get here, well, we're going to be, we're going to be long gone. We've been through worse than this before. Mr. Pierce. Miss Grimshaw, I need you to turn this place into a camp. We may be here for a few days. Now, all of you, all of you, get yourselves warm. Stay strong. Stay with me. We ain't done yet. Come on, Arthur. All right. We've got some work to do. We ain't run into them yet, so they both must have headed down the hill. Sure. Hey, I ain't had time to ask. What really went down back there on that boat? We miss you. That's what happened. Come on. Oh. oh. Hey, you need horses? Oh, yeah. Hey, Mr. Smith, get yourself indoors. You need to rest that hand. I'll live. Get indoors, son! Ah. We need you strong. Okay. Come on, let's go. Ain't sure what we're gonna find out here, Dutch. We have to try. Stay close. We'll do our best to stick to the trail. This goddamn weather. Been two days or more like this now. Oh, it has to blow over soon. Bridge coming up. Take it easy. Als ich die Szene das erste Mal gespielt habe, war mir es auch richtig kalt geworden. Da musste ich mir glatt was drüber ziehen. So kalt ist das hier. Wait, is that someone coming towards us? You up ahead, who's there? Micah. Gentlemen. Found anything? I think so. 
Found a little homestead down that way. Okay. Anyone home? Sure. Place is blazing with light and noise. Sounded like a party. Let's go see. Follow me. <clears throat> How's Davy doing? Well, he didn't make it. Nor did little Jenny. That's too bad. Davy was a real fighter. Both of them calendar boys is. Er, <laughs> was. Yeah. And Mac, Sean, we don't know. Quite a business. I'm glad you're all right, Micah. Always. Ask him if he's seen John. Hey, have you seen John, Micah? Didn't see much of anything once this storm came in. He hasn't seen him. He'll be fine. Things always turn out right for that boy. I hope Mac and Sean are still out there somewhere, too. Hey, Arthur, let me take the rear. You move up. Just up ahead. Snuff and stash those lanterns, boys. Best you two lie low on this. Okay. Let's head down there. up here. Let me handle this. We don't want to spook these fine people. Someone's having fun in there. You two, get yourself out of sight. One lonely man is a lot less intimidating than three nasty-looking degenerates. Micah, hide behind that wagon. Arthur, you take that old shed on the left and stay low, both of you. Some trouble up the way, lost in the storm. Ah, oh, gentlemen. We can't help you, mister. I got folks. Arthur. Dying on the Arthur, we got a problem. <laughs> There's a corpse right here. Unter dem Wagen, wo ich durch Mika versteckt hält, hat er eine Leiche gefunden. Dann greifen wir mal lieber schnell zur Pistole.
horse is closer to the house. Arthur, let's go search the cabin. What are you doing out there? Smells like a party in here. Turn the place upside down. Grab as many supplies as you can. We need the essentials. Food, medicine, whiskey. O'Driscoll's? I don't believe it. It's a strange one, all right. Maybe they're hiding up here, too. There's a big price on Colm O'Driscoll's head. Nearly as big as the one on yours. One Colm dead is about the only thing me and Uncle Sam agree on. Oh, I'm starving. You should eat something now. Get your strength up for the ride back. This place is dry and warm. We could maybe move the women and Jack down here. Maybe. We'll see how they are when we get back. I don't really want us to split up. Wie in vielen anderen Spielen dieser Art muss und kann man seine Gesundheit, die ja, wenn man mal eine Kugel abge abkriegt oder irgendwo angeschossen wird, ja auch leidet. Oder man bekommt auch Hunger. Also sollte man auch überall Nahrungsmittel suchen, um seine Gesundheit wieder aufzufüllen. Let me finish searching the place. Hmm. Poor bastard was married too. For stuff. Arthur, go see if there's anything in that barn. Micah, you search the cabin, see what we missed. Sure. Habt meinen Cousin erschossen. Er hat angefangen. Some train. 
Gonna blow the tracks. No, I don't know more than that, I swear. <laughs> well, I would say it looks like you have this, Arthur. Oh, da steht da mit der Zigarette im Mund. Ich sehe, du hast alles im Griff. Bring die Pferde mit, wenn du fertig bist. and his scum, they beat us to it. Uh, uh, we found some of them there, but there is more about, apparently, uh, scouting the train. Thank you. And that's the last thing we need right now, Dutch. Well, it is what it is. But we found some supplies, some blankets, a little bit of food, and this poor soul, Mrs. Adler, Miss Tilly, Miss Karen, would you warm her up, give her a drink or something? And Mrs. Adler, it's gonna be okay. You're safe now. They turned her into a widow. Animals. I need some rest. I haven't slept in three days. You're over here. Miss O'Shea will show you the way. Mr. Morgan, we put you in a room over here. Thank you, Miss Grimshaw. Mr. Bell, you're with the fellas over there. What? How come Arthur gets a room and I get a bunk bed next to Bill Williamson and a bunch of darkies? 
Get yourself to bed. He ain't been seen in days. Weather ain't let up. He's strong. And he's smart. Strong, at least. Hello, Arthur. Abigail. Arthur, how you doing? Just fine, Abigail. And you? I need you to... I I'm sorry. I'm sorry to ask, but... It's little John. He's got himself caught into a scrape again. He ain't been seen in two... Two days. Your John will be fine. I mean, he may be as dumb as rocks and as dull as rusted iron, but that ain't changing because he got caught in some snowstorm. Please go take a look. Javier? Yes. Javier, will you ride out with Arthur <clears throat> to take a look for John? <clears throat> You're the two best fit men we've got. Now? She's... We're all... Yeah, we're pretty worried about him. I know the situation were reversed. He looked for me. Thank you. This way. Last I know, John was headed up the river. For all we know, he kept riding north and never looked back. He wouldn't leave. Not like that. Uh, wouldn't be the first time. Ja, immer noch kalt wie Sau. Hey, I see some smoke. Come on, let's take a look. Let's hope it ain't more of O'Driscoll's boys. Well... Seems somebody left recently. And that way. Sure, well, come on then. There's some tracks leading to the river. Let's cross. See, they continue up that way. You think it's John? You tell me. These are horse tracks for sure, but it could be anyone. Let's just see where they lead. So, you were there, Javier. What really happened on that boat? We had the money, it seemed fine. And suddenly they were everywhere. Bounty hunters? No, Pinkerton. It was crazy. Raining bullets. Take it slow. Big ravine here. Dutch killed a girl in a bad way. But it was a bad situation. That ain't like him, though. We continue along the cliff wall here. Davey got shot. Mac and John both shot too. Sean, we don't even know. I'm surprised we escaped at all. By the time you boys showed up from the other side of town, we were only just holding on. Bad business, all right. Damn snow's coming in hot again. We'll lose these tracks if we don't move fast. Let's push on a little bit. 
Maybe we'll pick up the trail again. Hey, look. Over there. You see that? John was riding that horse when we left Blackwater. Let's see if he can hear us. Come on! Up there! Shotgun from your horse. Who knows what's up ahead? Ich slippery, pass auf! to the wall. Up this way. Gap here. That's quite a scratch you got there. Never thought I'd say this, but it's good to see you, Arthur Morgan. You don't look so good. I don't feel too good, neither. I'm freezing. Don't die just yet, cowboy. Compadre. Well, can't go back the way we came. Look up there. Okay. Oh. <laughs> we'll get you out of 
out of here. shelter now. Thanks for coming for me. Of course. That bullet in Blackwater, now this. You had a hell of a time. We should rock in the water for a bit. Try to lose it. Say, don't want to leave a trail right back to camp. You know, we're gonna need to come up with a better story for that scar. So, freezing, bleeding, starving, damn near getting eaten to death ain't good enough for you. Here, let's cross to the left. Yeah, come on. Let's push hard and get back. See those buildings up ahead, John? That's where we camped. Nearly there. John! Someone help John down off this horse. Can we get some help here? We get some help. We need some help here. Come on, help him down. You're alive. You're alive. Right, here we go. There we go. Uh, ah, he's uh, careful, idiotas. Uh, it's his leg. Oh, come on, let's get you warm. Thank you. Thank you both. This is a new love, even by your standards. <laughs> Thank you, Arthur. Thank you. You got any other lost maidens need saving? <laughs> Not today. Have you and Dutch talked about how we're going to get out of this? I was just discussing with Herr Strauss when the weather breaks. I suppose we'll have to keep heading east. East? Into all that? That civilization? I know. The west is where our problems are worse. Come on, Herr Strauss. Let's get warm. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. <sighs> We have been running for weeks. We found shelter and been resting here in some old abandoned mining town while we wait the thaw. Hardly the spring I had been hoping for. So what now, Dutch? We get strong, we get warm, and we wait. When the storm breaks, we move. Well, we're safe here. Warm enough, I guess. You sound doubtful. Not doubtful, just worried. We have been shot at before, Ho 
Jose, I don't feel that this is honestly anything new. I hope not. We had a bit of bad luck, but then the storm covered our tracks, so now we wait a bit, and we go back to Blackwater, and we get our money, and we get some more money, and we keep heading west. But we're heading east. For now. For now. We got this. We're safe. Stay strong, Jose. We weren't there, Jose. I'm aware of that. And they shouldn't have been either. Well, we can't change nothing now. Well, try to stay strong. Okay, Arthur. I feel like I'm getting a bad dose of it. We'll find a way off of here soon. Okay, Arthur. Starve to death up here, Mr. Morgan. We're okay. We have a few cans of food and a rabbit. For what? 10, 12 people? When I was in the Navy. I, I do not wish to hear about what you got up to in the Navy, Mr. Pearson. We were stranded at sea. Fifty days. And you unfortunately survived. When we ran away from Blackwater, I wasn't able to get supplies in. Well, when government agents are hunting you down, sometimes shopping trips need to be cut short. We'll survive. We always have. And if needs be, we can eat you. You're the fattest. I sent Lenny and Bill hunting, and they found nothing. Well, Lenny's more into book learning than hunting. Bill's a fool. Unless those mountains are full of game that want to read, ain't no wonder they found enough of this. We'll go find something. Come on, Arthur. Wait a second. Hold on. Uh, here. You're gonna need something neat out there. Assorted salted offal. Starving would be preferable. Come on, let's go. You can't go hunting. Look at your hand. I can't stay here listening to you two. Look, if there's game in those hills, I'll find it. And you can kill it. You need to rest, Charles. You think this is rest? Come along. <coughs> Here, you take this. I can't use it, and you'll have to. Oh, you're joking. Use a gun, and we'll scare off every animal for miles around. You're never too old to learn. I imagine. Come on. This way. How are you holding up, Charles? I'm okay. Apart from this hand. Stupid mistake. Still bad? 
It'll be fine in a day or two. I just can't pull a bow right now. Well, I sure hope I can. Never really got the hang of it. You'll be fine. So, you reckon we're gonna find something to kill that ain't no Driscoll? Huh. There's meat up here for sure. Pearson doesn't know what he's talking about. Now the weather's eased off a bit, they'll be needing to feed. We'll head up this way, find some higher ground. Whew. Been a wild few days, all right. I ride north from Blackwater, getting stuck in the storm, bringing John back in. You've had a lot put on you. I wish I could have done more. I didn't mean it like that. It's just a lot to think back on. I still don't really know what happened on that boat. Me neither. <laughs> well, Javier told me a bit, but it sure weren't good. Some patches of grass here. This is good. Oh, come on. Let's try this way. Keep your eyes peeled for movement. The wind's died down too. That's good. No wind at all is bad, but if it's too strong, they won't move. Now shh. Stay quiet. Yeah. Stop here a second, and I see something. Uh, careful. <sighs> Has deer been here recently? How can you tell? How can you not? Let's walk it from here. You're gonna need the bow. Don't leave it on your horse. A gun will scare everything around. Quiet as you can. Stay low and move slowly. You see the tracks? I uh, think so. Maybe not. Focus. There they are. Quick, get that bow out, Arthur. Aim for their head or neck. We want a good, clean kill. You can pull them out. See if you can get another one. Well done. I think that's all we can carry. Okay, you pick up one, I'll get the other. You sure your hand's okay? Uh, it'll be fine once I get it on my shoulder. Okay, I'll have the other one.
when you are. Come on, man. Sit back. Nice work, Arthur. Should be enough meat here to keep us all fed for a few days. You found him. I knew you'd be okay. Ich wusste, dass du mit dem Pfeil und Bogen zurechtkommst. Ja, wenn sie nicht zurückschießen, ist es einfacher. What then? Still have a big price on our heads. This is a big country. We'll find somewhere to lie low. Dutch and Jose will have a plan. You notice how Pearson's had a bottle in his hand ever since we fled Blackwater? We give the camp cook five minutes to grab the essentials and go, and he doesn't even bring a crumb of food. Good that we caught more than one. A lot of mouth to feed. And that girl from the ranch now, too? But <laughs> not sure she'll be eating much. She has a wild look in her eye. You would, too. She lost her husband, her home, everything she had. Huh. So what do we do with her? Once we get out of here and we're back on our feet, we'll see. She might have family somewhere. So it was O'Driscoll's you ran into there? Yeah. <laughs> Last thing we was expecting. What is it with the O'Driscoll's? You ain't dealt with them? I suppose. Yeah, we ain't run into them much the last six months. I guess because they've been over this way. Yeah. I've heard a lot of talk about them. Well, we've been scrapping over scores with them for years. Big gang. Nasty sons of bitches. Their leader, Cole, and Dutch go way back. And not in a good way. A proper blood feud. So I heard. Whoa! Watch out! Vorsicht! Da vorne ist ein Bär. Let's see if we can find another way around. Six months? Something like that. But he didn't expect this. What? Any of this. Blackwater mess. Being up here? Ah. Sooner or later, a job's gonna go wrong. Nature of life. I just thought you might have moved on by now. You want me to move on? No. No, not at all. I just... I know you could run it alone. No problem. I did that for a long time. I'm done with it. Always wondering if someone's gonna kill you in your sleep. I still wonder that most nights. <laughs> I reckon you're okay. This suits me. Sure, I could fall in with another gang, but Dutch. You know, Dutch is different. Oh yes, Dutch is certainly different. He treats me fair. Most of you do. And for a fellow with a black father and an Indian mother, that ain't normally the case. Well, we need you now. More than ever. Good. And how long have you been with these boys? Why ain't you run off? Me? Oh. 20 years, something like that. Since I was a boy. 20 years? Yeah. 
taught me to read. John, too, taught me a few other things, him and Hosea. Huh. I'm sure. Dutch saved me. Saved most of us. That's why we need to stick by him through this. He always sees us right. How's that new horse? He's all right. He'll do for now. I appreciate you letting me take time with the other night. She's a strong one. It's been as hard on the horses as on the rest of us. I don't know what Dutch would do if something happened to the Count. Same with Bill and Brown Jack. He's a drunk, miserable bastard, but he loves that horse. Huh. I hope they all make it. I tried to ride the Count once. Up me faster than a bull. Won't take nobody but him. time over here. Thank you for showing me how to use the bow properly. I only showed you a little. It takes a lifetime of practice to master. Surprise! I found a camp rat loitering around in the kitchen. Is that any way to greet an old friend? I feel like we haven't spoken for days. I do my utmost to avoid you. Ah, he loves me, really. It's his sad way of showing affection. No, it isn't. Now shoot, get lost. Uh, well, see you gents later. See, you got on just fine. Charles is a wonder. Have a drink, boys. You earned it. Jesus, what is that? Navy rum, sir. It's the only thing. Also, in dem Spiel wird ganz schön viel gesoffen, muss ich sagen. Hier kann ich nie jedes Mal ihn mit trinken. You mind helping me with the skinning, Mr. Morgan? It's easier if we do it together. I'll get to skin you. <coughs> You're always one with the jokes, aren't you? Come on. This really isn't a job for a man with a burnt hand. I'll see you both later. You skinned that one, did you? Dumped on the floor there. Too bad, Mr. Morgan. Yeah. They always said you were a butcher. You know, you could trade these or sell these in pretty much any town. If you're looking to make a legitimate bit of money, of course. Right now, I'm just looking to get off this mountain alive. Well, if you catch anything else, you bring it to me. Sure. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Heck, Arthur Morgan's first decent bit of hunting after all these years. Yeah. <coughs> Well, we're on the run now. Everyone's got to do their bit to survive. Just make a good stew. Folk need it. It's been a tough few days. <sighs> Hello. Help with you boys because I thought I liked action. A couple of days on the lamb, 
You lot have all turned yellow. Apart from you, of course. Shut up, Micah. I ain't never seen so many long faces. Mm. I guess, I guess folks miss them. I fell, but when I fall, I don't want no fuss. When you fall, there'll be a party. <laughs> <laughs> <A party. laughs> Probably. Uh -huh. Funny, huh? Sure. <laughs> I don't feel like being laughed at by the likes of you two. Stop it! Now! You fools punching each other when Como Driscoll's needing punching hard. You want to sit around waiting for him to come find us? All of you, we got work to do. Come on. Are you sure about this, Dutch? Yes. Both been through a lot recently. We hardly back on our feet yet. The last thing we need is to get bushwhacked by Como Driscoll. Let's go. I know you hate him, Dutch. He's here for us. I doubt that. No, you're just doubting me. I would never doubt you, Dutch. You... You always said revenge is a luxury we can't afford. This is the right call, Arthur. Take this. And this is about more than revenge for business long ago. They were talking about trains and detonators here. Cole always had good information. Come on. And you think now is the right time to hit a train? Now, you might fancy living on deer piss and rabbit shit. I'm getting too old for that life. Mr. Matthews, Mr. Smith, Mr. Pearson. Would you please look after the place? There are O'Driscolls about. Yeah! Southwest, right, Arthur? Yeah. He said follow the main trail southwest. They're camped near some lake. Okay, let's go find these bastards before they find us and rob this store they're planning. Take a look. They said it was near the lake, so we must be close. Hold. Hold up here. Arthur! All right, gentlemen. This is it. Are we goddamn ready? Ready, Dutch. Good. Now, Mr. Morgan and I, we're gonna head up here a little, see if we can't get a sense of the layout of the camp. Mr. Williamson, Mr. Bell, you two take up a hidden position just outside the camp. Mr. Summers, Mr. Escuela, you two hold position here. Let's go. There they are. That's definitely them. Home? I think so. Yeah, that's him.
Who's he talking to? He don't seem very happy. No. They leaving? Seem to be. Should we go get them? No. Cone can wait. Best to get some of them out of there. And much less fun to rob him and his score if he never finds out about it. Come on, let's get down there. First, I didn't have much choice, was picking his teeth off the floor. And he didn't tell him nothing. Not a word. Some of you have been with me. 
I imagine Cole doesn't even know half the names of these fools. Let's wait for Javier and Lenny. They're coming down with the horses. Keep an eye out for any more of the bastards. Nice of you two to join us. Is everyone all right? I think so. Good work, boys. Now, let's tear this place apart. <clears throat> Bill, you go search that wagon there. Mike, search that building. Arthur, you take that building to the left. All right, man, quick! Find those detonators, explosives, anything you can. Let's go! What have we got here? Perfect. The plans.
Here. This looks good. What do you think, Bill? Well, looks fine. It smells good. Come on. Did we get everything? Think so, boss. Found this on one of them. Thank you. This is perfect. Oh, yeah. Interesting. This is something about the train they was gonna rob. A Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Mount back up. Let's keep moving. All right, let's get out of here. Proud of you boys. All of you. Not a man down. Good work, fellas. Not bad for some starving down and outs. They can pummel us hard as they like. But we will always get back up and fight. That's who we are. Outlaws for life, fellas. Wait until we have John, Matt, Charles, and Sean back riding with us, and I believe, I know, they will all be back. Well, you didn't get combed, but this hit will hurt him a lot more than any bullet in the head. Especially when we rob this train, too. <laughs> yeah, I guess we'll see about that. Oh, indeed we will. You know, he'll come after us. Oh, of course he will, just like all the rest. But we're gonna stay a step ahead of them. Make sure we always know where they are before they know where we are. We allowed ourselves to get a step behind in Blackwater. That won't happen again. All right, dig in, fellas. Let's make some ground. See that fella? Wasn't he at the camp with Cole? Leave him to me. All right, we're heading back. Just bring him back alive. He could be useful. Okay, you got it. to do this. What's your name, boy? I don't know. You don't know your name? It's Kieran. Kieran what? Duffy. Kieran Duffy. Well, I ain't gonna lie to you. This is a real bad day for you, Kieran Duffy. Where are you taking me? Somewhere you ain't gonna lie. Why? What are you gonna do to me? Some fan you ain't gonna lie. So I'd advise you to save your breath for screaming. No, please! Because I will break every bone in your body. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay? Not one more goddamn word. Am I clear? Okay, okay! That's two bones right there. Introduce you to the boys. Don't hurt me, please. No, oh, don't worry. They're real nice. You found a little shit, did you? Yep. <laughs> I got them. Very good. Welcome to your new home. Hope you're real happy here. You want me to make him talk? 
Oh, no. Now all we'll get is lies. Uncle! Mr. Williamson! Tie this maggot up someplace safe. We get him hungry first. I got a saying, my friend. We shoot fellas as needs shooting, save fellas as needs saving, and feed them as need feeding. We are going to find out what you need. I can't believe it! An O'Driscoll in my camp! I ain't an O'Driscoll, mister! I, I hate that fella! Oh, whatever you say, son. Well done, Arthur. I'm just sorry we missed out on Cole. Oh, there's time enough for that. Now, I gotta figure out if we can hit that train. Okay. Been a bad few weeks, but Dutch being Dutch, he is busy making plans, and Dutch being Dutch, those plans involve robbery and dreams. Well, I thought you was reading him his last rites. Now I see you're introducing him to your other passion. I'll mind you to show me some respect, Mr. Morgan. Mind away, Reverend. You still here, then? I owe you. Yeah. Then you'll pay me. But for the moment, just rest. Arthur. I think it's time for the train. You want me to come? Of course I do, but look at you. I was always ugly, Dutch. It's just a scratch. Don't lie still, son. Hello, Abigail. What? Jackie. The boy wanted to see you, John. He's seeing me now. What's left of me? What about you? Guess I was hoping to see a corpse. <laughs> Bide your time. You'll see plenty of them. You're a rotten man, John Marston. He is an idiot, Abigail. We all know it. Now, railway man. Bill, now you ride ahead and set the charge at the water tower just before the tunnel. Ain't a problem. Why are we doing this? Weather's breaking, we could leave. I, I thought we was lying low. Yeah, come on. What do you want from me, Jose? I just don't want any more folks to die, Dutch. We're living, Jose. We're living. Look at me. We're living. Even you. But we need money. Everything we have is in Blackwater. You fancy heading back there? No. Listen, Dutch, I ain't trying to undermine you. I just... I just want to stick to the plan, which was to lie low, then head back out west. Now... Suddenly, we're about to rob a train. What choice have we got? Leviticus Cornwall's no joke, Dutchie. Well, who is Leviticus Cornwall? You know, he's a big railway magnet, sugar dealer, oil man. Well, how good for him. Sounds like he has more than enough to share. Dutch! Gentlemen, it is time to make something of ourselves. Get your horses ready. We have a train to rob. Enough! 
After Bill blows the tracks, we're gonna need to move fast. Is everyone clear on what they're doing? Yep, Crystal. Yes, boss. Good. Now come on. Let's ride. done fast. Now it's thawing before anyone gets up here after us. Oh, look at you boys. See? This is what I call a crew. Micah Bell. Charles Smith. Easy. Micah Bell. Charles Smith. Arthur Morgan. Javier Escuela. And what about young Lenny here? Oh, oh. Always the first man on his horse. Just happy we're back at it, Dutch. You sure you're ready for this, kid? Of course I'm ready. Just stay calm. Keep your eyes sharp. That goes for all of you. No mistakes. Not again. So we do this, then we go back to Blackwater to collect. How many times are you gonna ask the same question, Micah? That's a lot of damn money to leave sitting for too long. It would be crazy to go back there now. The place will be swarming with Pinkertons. We go back when I say we go back. And Whoa. that's the end of it. Whoa, how are you riding like There's a lot of talent. Hold up here on the ridge. Is Bill there? Yeah. You want to head down? See how he's getting on? Okay. This is a good spot. Yeah. I must remember to thank Paul O'Driscoll for planning it out so well for us. And for providing all the explosives. <laughs> Real generous of the How you getting on? Yeah. I'm okay. You sure? Yeah. Of course. Can I help a little? Yeah. All right. Go ahead and set up the detonator by those rocks over there. Okay, sure. Now just unspool the wire and then attach it to said detonator. Okay, this is good. All right, that should do it. You head back up to the others. I've got it from here. For the plan, all of you, no mistakes. What's going on? He says all fine. We'll soon find out. Everything okay? I think. Okay, cover your faces. The train should be here any minute now. That includes you, Arthur?
Have you forgotten the price on our heads? Cover your face, ja, Arthur. Ja, das war's. Ach, Mann. Wenn ihr sehen wollt, wie es weitergeht, wenn euch das interessiert, würde ich auch noch weitere Episoden zusammenschneiden. Schreibt einfach mal in die Kommentare. Wenn nie, werde ich das bei der bei dem einen Video hier Okay, ciao.